are you today? Welcome to Water Braiding and Extensions. Now this is the home of professional natural hair glamour and as usual we're going to be bringing something exciting to you. But I know, I know we've been away for some time especially with our skills, sharing our skills and knowledge to you. But we're still here and we're still happy to share what we know with you. So we're going to start by saying thank you so much to all our subscribers who are out there waiting and wondering when the next thing is going to happen. But I'll tell you what we've been up to. We've been really busy working on our mentality. Mentality to me is one of the biggest things we could ever take on. In the sense of before you take on any knowledge, any skill, any activity, any career, your personal life is so important. You need to keep it on track. You need to guard it. And several times I say, the most important thing we need to guard in our lives is our mind. And that's why we've been on this journey of trying to protect our mind. So we're reading a book called The Purpose Driven Life. And that's been keeping us really busy. It's a 40 day book. And if you haven't had the time to watch it, you should go and watch that. It will really change everything you've been thinking about your life and wondering where it's going and why you're here and what are you achieving, why are things so difficult. All of those questions are answered in that book. But I chose to share it with my audience and that's why I've been reading it. So it's been taking all our time and that's why you haven't been seeing us working with you on skills. But anyway, we're halfway while we're doing this video now. So. It will carry on for another 20 days or 17, 18 days. And that will be done and then things are going to change and we're going to carry on with what we know. So anyway, welcome on board and apologies if I've talked too much as always. But I needed you to know what we've been up to. So today we're going to be up to something really exciting. It's a weave. And it's one of the weaves people have been asking us about. Can you show us how to create the, you know, natural hair um natural opening so now you weave the rest of the hair but you open the center this technique can also be used on opening the side so you can do a side parting with the natural hair and weave the rest or the center parting with the natural hair and weave the, the rest and when i say natural hair i mean the client's hair because you know we have all these closures and uh frontals and everything going on now but People who love to have their hair in front and still have the weave at the back, they still do exist. And that's why this technique is coming. And that's why we've decided to share this knowledge with you. So welcome on board. So what we're working with today, again, is our training head. We love to use the training head because we keep thinking that most of these people who ask the questions, can you show me, probably haven't had time to do client's hair so the best place to start is to start with the training head and my advice all the time is make all your mistakes with the training head so that when you work with a client you're not confused anymore so what am i showing you i'm showing you the cornrow pattern so it started from here and then it just carries on and comes here and then it goes there And then it repeats and that's it and so when you finish you will have this strand of hair hanging out and then maybe question is why do i have this so that it will help to give you the natural finish and this is the center that we're going to have the opening so materials is usually the needle always best to work with the with the C needle um I need a clip from time to time to hold hair down and regular clip if you need to do anything with a scissors and then of course the hair extension it's best to work with human hair in this case Luckily, the client has human hair, 
So if you had a synthetic hair client, you can always work with synthetic hair. Now why am I interested in the hair type is because I'm going to blow dry it or blend the hair when I finish. So that's it and um, we're going to first we stitch that hair down so that we can do our work. So you curve it in. Just wherever you see any space, you put it in. And then that's where my clip comes in. And I just clip it down. And that's it. And then I start stitching it. So, we finished stitching it down. And now we're ready to start stitching our extensions. So, you put it in, starting right there. Your first few times, put that clip to hold it down. If you don't have that clip, a regular clip will do a good job. You just hold it down. What this does, it helps to hold the way away the hair away from you. And so you can have your free hands to do your work. What you probably ask me is how did I start the very first thread? Um, I connected the thread from the top when I finished the stitching. A, I could have cut it off and come back and start fresh, but there's really no need for that. So I just put it underneath the cornrows, inserted it in like that, and I brought it down. But what I'll do, one of the times I put a new thread in, I'll show you how a thread can come in for the first time. And so make sure that the very first stage is really, really stitched in. So that the hair doesn't come out and become flappy every time she brushes her hair. Now we start stitching. Now we're assuming that you can stitch already so you're not really confused about what's going on here. Our way of doing it is that needle must face up. And so we're going to carry on stitching until we get to the end of this line and I'll just show you how we move to the next line. Okay so we're at the end of the line now. Now there are choices 
if you if you were working with virgin hair you don't have to cut it you need to move it to the next level which is what i'm gonna do again it saves you cutting and starting and cutting and starting but if you're working with human hair which is what this is you can cut it and start a new line but i'm not going to cut it i'm going to carry on and i'll just show you how that is done if you're working with synthetic hair you can also do the same thing you can also cut it And so look at what I've done. I've just lifted it slightly up and stitched to hold it down firmly. And then I'll move to the next line. And from there, I'm going to stitch it all the way. When I get to the end, I will move again. And that's how it carries on. Okay, so what we've done, we've put maybe three or four stitch, um, tracks. One, two, three, four. So four, number four. And I did promise when I put a new thread in, I'll show you how I do it. So let's pretend this is not here. And then we just came with a new thread, brand new thread and needle, and we'll go in. What you will do is pull that thread all the way. See that? and then you knot it together you knot it like that go and knot but now we're adding a new thread to an old existing thread this is the one i was stitching with it's short now so i bring the new thread new thread old thread together and i knot And that's how that's done. You knot a few times. And then you cut the short part off. Now you got your new thread ready to carry on. So you stitch it again exactly at that point. Then you carry on with your stitching. Remember the type of stitching we do for weaves, it's called blanket stitching. So try this high up and needle goes in. That's blanket stitching. When you're done, you get a straight line of stitching. and I stop of the ear so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to carry on stitching and I'm not come I'm not stopping here anymore and I'm going straight on all the way towards the front see the cornrow so it's going to go all the way here And then when I get here, I start going back and go the same way all the way the other way. So when I get there, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so you can see how far we've gone. Let's see if I can just, yes, it's easier to lift just the head. So we carried on like that and then we got to the tip here and went back and as you go along try and be brushing out the hair so if there's anything holding it it will be coming out fresher for you looking really free so now we've carried on from there and this time straight on to the end and what i wanted you to see is how it comes back again so you remember how we did that part going and coming and going and coming exactly same thing here and so we hold it down and straight 
So I'll just clip this down a little bit so we see what's going on. You see what's gone now, how we've done that. So that's it, and then I'm going to carry on. Hold it really straight to see that. And stitch. And this time, you take it all the way again to the end, come back, and that's what we're going to carry on doing. Back, 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 until we get there. Then I'll show you what happens next. Okay, so you can see how far we've gone, and you just here we're left with our cornrow is nearly over. You can see this full head of weave. Now you notice there's a sharp difference between these two webs. Um, if I was working on a client, I'll put the shorter weft underneath and finish it off with the longer weft. To give it a full we, um, bob look but this is just for demonstration so it's not really going to make any much difference otherwise if I want to soften the sharpness of that top part I know what to do uh, I'm not going to do it I just want to give you how this hair is finished so you can see how far we've gone and so we're going to carry on and then Keep stitching. And then show you when we finally finish it off. Okay, so you can see we're nearly done with this. But before we finish, just a quick reminder. This is our home training pack, which contains over 30 DVDs. That gives you every skill you want in hair. Every skill you want in hair. And we call it professional natural hair um, care. Or professional natural hair glamour. Whichever way. The whole idea is to make you looking beautiful with our chemicals. That's what we stand for. So everything here will give you as much skill as you ever wanted. Everyone who's worked with this bought our DVDs. Come back with amazing testimonies they have achieved so much with their hands we got the hands why can't we just use it that's my belief use the hands stop chasing jobs out there because you can employ yourself okay so here we go this is the book we've been reading you remember i mentioned to you we've been reading this book amazing book nobody asked me to review their book for them nobody said they would pay me if i talk about their book but I wanted to share this with you because it's one of the best things that I have ever done. Reading this book would change the way you look at life. So we have, we have every chapter on our YouTube channel. For now, we have up to pay, um, we call it day 22 or chapter 22. Join us on that discussion. You see how things will change for you. Just go backwards and start watching them from day one, day two, day three. By the time we're done with this book, we know our life will be changed for good. And we call it a new life. So again, I just wanted to share this with you as our valued subscribers. We want to share everything good that happens to us with you. So we're going to carry on and finish this. 
-hmm. Okay, so what you can say is we've definitely finished anyway. Um, we just carried on with the stitching all the way, which we showed you earlier. And then this hair, this colored hair is just a piece of hair from another, um, another bunch, which I had to use to finish it off because I ran out of the other hair. So the reason I'm showing you this is because there's a little bit of hair left here and I don't want to cut it off. So I'm going to just add it on. You see how you do, you just turn it and I'm going to just stitch it and finish it off here. But ideally, once you get to the end, that's it. If the hair you had had finished, you just cut it off, cut whatever's left off. But I hate cutting hair because when you have little pieces here and there, they really don't come in any handy. They don't do anything good for you. So I'm going to just stitch it here and just add it there. Okay, so we finished the hair. You can see all that we've done. See how it sits really flat onto the scalp. Now we're going to release the natural hair that we want to put over it. And first I want you to see how this brushes out. See all the natural hair we have there. And it just goes all nicely in place. And it feels like it's all her hair. This is one of the best styles for people who have chemically processed hair. Because it blends in so well. Um, one of the people who used to wear this a lot was Michelle Obama and um, Condoleezza Rice. Um, a few of them. They don't want their own hair to disappear in this extension. So they they allow the hair to be added at the back and everyone thinks it's all, it's all their hair okay so now we're going to create the center she's had her hair in corner for some time Okay, so what I've done, I've just sprayed it a little bit of water to give me freedom to get the section sitting really well. Yes. And this is again what hair used to look like long before we started having all the lace closures. People just um, had a little piece of their hair open and then the weave was added at the back. I'm not really looking at her face so um, I think that's a bit okay and then the rest goes to the back so you could leave as much hair as far as you want it to go So what I've done, I've just put a little bit of hair cream on it, just to hold it down a bit more.
and that's it and now I'm gonna just blow dry a little bit just to blend the hair in and that's it we're done so now she can she can go home and style or if you wanna if she wanted you to style the hair you could style it you can get the curling rollers or the um the straighteners and you do whatever you want to do depending on what she wants um I'm gonna just give her a little bit of a blow dry. Uh, usually, get get the right products in when you want to do this. Uh, I've just added a bit of this to give it a bit of shine. There are other things you can use. You can use serum. Um, you can use products with gloss. to give you a bit of shine um, but there are clients who also don't like too much of anything in their hair so I try not to put too much of okay, so there you have it look at our glamorous model hair looking so pink <laughs> as you guys would say looking so beautiful look at the back long straight completely covered that's what you get when you give your friend uh, friends and clients beautiful beautiful head of weave um you know what we stand for professional natural hair glamour we want the hair to look beautiful we never used any chemical so you might say, okay, this client may have had straightened hair before she came to us. That's fine. We're ready to work with her. Um, you could also blow dry this hair and straighten it without chemical. You could also use the straightener to create that. There are so many things you can do. Uh, heat treatment to give you straight hair. So whatever she's come with, we are not here to damage anybody's hair. But she can walk out with a full head of beautiful hair like that flowing and gorgeous and that's it from us we love to give you glamour and we love to share our skills with you so we look forward to seeing you in the next video when we come with more skills for you and again thank you so much for subscribing and please remember to subscribe if you haven't done so already share these videos with your friends we want them to be empowered with skills in their hand See you in the next video. Thank you so much.